EV-1 with red stripes egresses the airlock, followed by EV-2. While EV-2 puts her tool bag on a portable foot restraint, EV-1 translates to the forward face of the ISS. EV-1 secures both crew safety tethers and proceeds to the 4 Bravo worksite at the Port 6 location. EV-2 then follows the same path to the worksite. EV-2 installs the portable foot restraint and moves her tool bag to the other side of the integrated equipment assembly. She brakes torque on the old nickel hydrogen battery in slot one and configures the worksite. Meanwhile, EV-1 secures her tool bag to the exposed pallet before joining EV-2 at the first battery. EV-2 ingresses the portable foot restraint and releases two bolts using the pistol grip tool. EV-2 removes the battery and the crew work together to shepherd it to the exposed pallet. Next, EV-1 ingresses the portable foot restraint and they install the battery, driving one bolt. EV-1 removes two handling aids called scoops. The robotic arm moves the exposed pallet so EV-1 can access a new lithium-ion battery. EV-1 installs scoops, releases one bolt, and removes the new battery. The crew work together to bring the new battery back to slot one. They inspect the battery and drive two bolts to install it. Next, EV2 moves the scoops to the old battery in slot two. They brake torque and release two bolts. EV2 removes the battery and the crew work together to shepherd it back to the exposed pallet. EV-1 ingresses the portable foot restraint, temporarily stowing the old battery on her body restraint tether, then removes an adapter plate from the exposed pallet. EV-1 hands the adapter plate to EV-2, 
who takes it back to slot 2, while EV1 installs the old battery onto the exposed pallet. Meanwhile, EV1 installs the old battery onto the exposed pallet. EV1 then joins EV2 at the integrated equipment assembly, where EV2 inspects and installs the adapter plate. EV2 drives two bolts and then mates an electrical cable to complete that power channel pairing. The crew move to battery three and release two bolts. They remove the old battery and install that onto the adapter plate in slot two. EV1 and EV2 will remove a new lithium ion battery from the exposed pallet and install it into slot three. That completes the plan task for this EVA. If there is more time available, they will remove the old battery from slot four and install it on the exposed pallet, which is not shown in this video. The crew will prep the worksite in preparation for the next EVA, then clean up tools. EV1 retrieves her tool bag from the exposed pallet. Then both crew return to the airlock. Both crew then ingress the airlock, completing the EVA.